Hi. In this tutorial we are going to have a look at the CNC editor in CNC Simulator Pro. It is a special editor made for CNC programmers that has code coloring, intelligent pop-ups and syntax check among other things. Let us dive in. The first thing you notice when you write CNC code in the editor is that different codes get different colors. For example G codes are light blue, coordinate letters are red, and N codes are orange. This makes it easier to read the code. If you find the font to be too small you can change it in the settings. While typing code you will see pop-up windows with help. You can either ignore them by continue to type normally or you can use them to find the code you are looking for. Let us type the letter G and see what happens. As you can see, we get a list of available G codes. You can scroll up and down the list with the mouse wheel. If you click on a code in the list, you will see additional information about it. Now you can walk up and down the list using the arrow keys on your keyboard. You will see a pop-up window for each code. When you have found the code you are looking for, you can press the tab key on your keyboard to insert it into the editor. Some codes have a connected web page with additional information. The editor is smart enough to even pop up a list of your tools if you type in a T, or a list of your workpieces when typing the special command for adding them. You can also hover the mouse over different codes in the editor to see information about them. These functions are made to help users write CNC code faster as well as help beginners to learn programming quickly. Have you noticed the yellow box symbol on the left margin? It shows you the last executed line. When you simulate and discover something you want to change you can click the simulation stop button and the yellow box will show you where you stopped. Let us test it. If you click in the left margin you can set pause points. These are circular green markers and when the simulator hits one, it will pause the simulation. If a block causes an alarm, you will see the alarm info at the bottom of the editor. Here you can reset the alarm. The block that caused the alarm will be underlined with a red line to show where the problem is. Let us test it by changing our tool call to a tool number that does not exist. It is sometimes convenient to use block numbers in CNC programs. You can automatically number your program from the edit menu. Set the start and incremental number to create block numbers in your program. If you add or remove blocks, just repeat the procedure to recreate your block numbers. You can just as easy remove block numbers like this. When testing code it can sometimes be convenient to comment out blocks temporarily. You can do it by selecting a group of blocks and then use this function in the edit menu. When you want to uncomment them, do it like this.
You can search for text or codes in your program and also replace it with other text. If we change the number for our subprogram, we will get an error when calling the old number. Let us search and replace all call numbers. Sometimes you want to work on several places in the code at the same time. For example if you are working on the main program in a subroutine. You can easily split the editor into two independent editors like this. You can also change the size of the editor like this. If you are working with a program that is going to be transferred to a real machine it can be good to see all characters in the code, even the hidden ones like spaces, tabs, and line breaks, as these can sometimes create problems when loading the program in the CNC controller. You can find the function to show them in the view menu. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss future tutorial videos. Have a great day.